All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today you join me down in South End. Don't worry, I won't do the accent. And I've bought something quite interesting. I think you're going to like it. What I've agreed to buy, and I haven't actually seen it yet, is a 2007 Audi A8, but it has a 4.2 litre turbo diesel V8. I knew you'd like it. What I'm most excited about is the fact that this doesn't appear to be a shed. I don't think I'm going to have to spend a fortune on this. I know you're probably rolling your eyes there, but based on the description I've had from the previous owner, he's done everything. New tyres, gearbox service, engine service. It sounds pretty mint. There are a couple of very minor issues with it. I mean, it's a 17 year old car at the end of the day, but generally it looks really nice. The other good bit of news really is the price. Now this car, when it was new, would have cost 60,000 pounds, 70,000 pounds. Well, I've agreed to buy this for 2,800 pounds. So much car for the money, isn't it? One of the very minor issues that this has got, which the previous owners told me about, is that occasionally you get a flashing glow plug light. So today I've come armed with my Carly OBD scanner, so I thought I'd plug it in and just see what it says. He said that it doesn't affect the drive of it, so I'm hoping it's nothing serious. Right, let's go and have a look then, shall we? Here we are then. Bear in mind I have seen pictures of this already. It looks as nice as it did in the pictures. I'm very pleased with this so far. On the pictures it looked kind of a bit bluey, but in reality it looks quite, quite grey, which is better, in my opinion. And the leather's piped. Right, let me go and introduce myself, get the keys, and I'll give you a tour of the inside. Right, so we've got, not one, two, three keys. Let's fire her up then. Oh, it's keyless actually this, isn't it? So, where's my start button? It's a very early start-stop system, this. Get out there. Bit of heart FM. <laughs> there we go. Now it says service due, so I'll obviously get a service done. And I've been given two door handles as well. So the previous owner said that there was an issue with the keyless entry system on two of the doors. So he's found two replacement uh, handles and then had them painted the same colour as the car. So they're just ready to fit. So I'll get those done. It's done 110,000 miles. And it's really nice spec, this. I'm quite looking forward to my drive home now. Let me show you what's under the bonnet then. And we've got a 4.2 litre V8. That needs a little bit of grease. This, I think something like 330 brake horsepower. And the last time I drove one was the newer Shape A8. And they're, they're silky smooth, they sound good. And they're just a, a torque monster. Now the previous owners had this for about five years and the service history is impeccable. It's a slight issue with the power tailgate in that it's a little bit lazy, but it nearly had my fingers off. There we go. Just needs a little helping hand. The way down, I'm told, is all right. I think gravity does its job. So here are the replacement door handles. Now I think it, this is the issue, these two buttons. So I'll get those swapped over. We've even got the original Chelmsford Audi plates. I love a bit of originality. There we go, fine. Now this, all of this is all the service history. So we've got stacks of it, stacks and stacks. All neatly organized. This is what I like to see. We've got heated seats back here as well. Proper show for car, isn't it this? As I mentioned earlier, the owner told me about a glow plug light. So what we're gonna do now is plug it in and see what the issue is. So we'll go to the Carly app. Look at that. Popped up with uh, gusto, didn't it? Right, so go to the Carly app, add new car, Audi A8, right, connect. Before you connect, plug the scanner into the OBD port. Done that. Turn on your vehicle's engine. There we go. Make sure Bluetooth is on, and then connect. 
So here we can do various things, either diagnose and repair car issues, a used car check to make sure that the mileage hasn't been tampered with, customization so you can code various features. Let's go on the diagnostic then. Check for issues, right, this might take a couple of minutes. Well this isn't looking good, we've got seven issues, 12 issues now. Show results, and we've got several red issues here. Engine, four issues. Glow plug cylinder, cylinder six. Glow plug cylinder seven. Fuel pressure sensor one. Fuel pressure system two high, that's amber. I think we'll clear these because we haven't actually got an engine light on, so I wonder how serious these faults are. These could as well be historic faults. There we go, right. You can also set it to remind you in three days time. Parking brake's got one issue. This last occurred at 177,000 kilometres. Now, bear in mind we've done 110,000 miles. That was hmm, fairly recently, actually. We'll clear this. We'll clear all the faults, and then we'll have a three and a half hour drive back, and then we'll see how she fares. In addition to diagnosing faults, you can also use the Carly Reader to unlock certain features on your car. Now, I couldn't really do that on the old A8 because it was too old, didn't really have that many features to unlock, but on more modern cars like this one, then there should be plenty. So let's have a look. So we go into customization and then continue. Check coding possibilities. Now this will give us a list of what's possible, what we can change. Now for example, I've done it in the past where you can set it so that your mirrors fold in when you lock it, or you know, or not, if that's what you want. Or have it so that the horn beeps when you lock the car or unlock the car, that sort of thing. Okay, so we've got seven compatible ECUs, let's have a look. Here's an example for you. You can set it so that that mirror dips, and it's as simple as that. Let's see if there's anything more exciting I can do. Let's go on to the dash. Ah, there's a long list of things here. So we can turn off the seatbelt warning, or on. We can do a needle sweep so that when you start the car, the actual needles, the, the dials, do a sweep of the dash. We can turn on the oil temperature display. We can display the battery charge status. You can do an awful lot then on newer cars. Change the temperature units, display the time in 24 hours, not 12. There are tons of different features with this that you can unlock, and it just makes the car, I don't know, you can personalize it a bit more. These are all features that you'd have to pay for. You'd have to pay a main dealer to do this sort of stuff. Let's do this needle sweep then. So we'll turn on the needle sweep, code it, agreed, code. And it's as simple as that. Coding was successful. Please turn the ignition off and back on again. There we go, right, so let's try this then. Oh, look at that. One needle sweep. Ah, right, okay, so we can turn off the daytime running lights with the tail lights or turn them back on again. You can increase the volume here. Oh, look at that. You can increase the volume for the front park assist. It's a really handy tool, this. I use it across multiple cars. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, then don't forget to use my promo code HIGHPEAK24. Or alternatively, click the link below in the video description. I think the best thing then is to get this out on the road. Right, and we're away in the Audi A8. And straight away, it's exactly what I was expecting. Silky smooth, the steering's nice and light, it's comfortable. I've got one issue though that I wasn't expecting. I think it just needs a bit of grease, but my bonnet isn't fully closed properly. Listen on the move with Global Player. And my radio wants my attention all the time. I'm looking forward to giving this a good blast really, because I don't think it's had a good run for a while. The previous owner was telling me that he hasn't really run this car since February last year. He started it and used it for a few weeks over Christmas, but that was pretty much it, when he also replaced the brake pads. But I think he said the garage didn't replace the wear wire, so I'm expecting a, a low brake pad warning light. I mean, to be fair, it's a 17-year-old car, I'm expecting several warning lights. Perfect time, isn't it, to pick up an Audi A8? It's freezing, it's dark, I'm in rush hour. Well, anyway, I've got a three and a half hour drive back, which I'm quite looking forward to. Oh yeah, feel the power. I'm gonna have to pull over actually and try and slam that bonnet shut. I don't want that flipping open. I think as always, I'm gonna get this straight to my mechanic and get it up on a ramp and see what it's like. I'm fairly confident it's all all right really, but it is due a service, even though I've just reset the indicator. So I'll get that done. It's a big spec this, I mean, as you'd expect, but for a 2007 car, I've got a reverse camera. I've got auto dimming wing mirrors. Heated seats are getting piping hot. This was some car in its day, wasn't it? Well, I'm quite impressed. This is the sort of car that I'd happily drive around in. If it was a little bit newer with Bluetooth, then I definitely would. And we've even got an electronically operated steering column. Look at that. And it works. One of the reasons I bought this car is because this was the same car that Jeremy Clarkson drove from London to Edinburgh and back on a single tank. And as soon as I was offered this car, I thought I could try that kind of journey, couldn't I, and see how it fares 17 years later. 
maybe tweak it slightly, maybe go somewhere else. So that's in the back of my mind. So once it's all checked, then I will be taking this on a road trip. If you've got any suggestions, then let me know below in the comments. But that's what I'm thinking of doing. Some sort of 2024 version of that. And to be honest, if this still does 600 miles from a single tank, what a place to spend 600 miles. Right guys, I think what I'm gonna do next then is go and get some fuel because it's showing a quarter of a tank, which gives me a range of, hang on a minute. Of course I can't see my range because it's telling me my bonnet's open. In typically Germanic fashion, very angry about it. So fuel for the car, fuel for myself, I think. I think I need some caffeine. It's gonna be a long night, this. And then head back up to Manchester. I've driven enough cars in my time to know a good one from a bad one. And straight away I can tell you, I think, I think this is a pretty good one. I mean, yes, it is getting on in age a bit, but I think it's been looked after very well. It feels solid over the bumps, the gearbox changes perfectly. He's had a gearbox service done last year, so that's all good. Put four new tires on it recently. And so far, we've got no warning lights. It's pretty good going, isn't it? Well, we're back up north in my Audi A8 V8, and I thoroughly enjoyed the drive back. It took me about three and a half hours, and it was dark and wet, but, I mean, this was the perfect car to do it in. I did the same journey recently in a Toyota Land Cruiser, and that was a bit painful, to be honest. But this, it's just really hard to believe that it's 17 years old. The eagle-eyed amongst you might have seen that we've had some snowfall overnight. Quite a bit, actually. But I've got no fears at all because I'm in an A8 Quattro. And the best bit about it, I'm in a, a valueless A8 Quattro, so it doesn't really matter if it gets damaged. That's the best thing about running a car like this. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet, but... I think first thing, I've got to take to my mechanics and get it checked over. Swap those door handles, fix the bonnet that's, that's still insisting that it's open, even though it clearly isn't. But that's it. I haven't had any warning lights on. It's been doing 32 miles per gallon, which I didn't think was too bad for a big 4.2 litre diesel. And it was just a beautiful, effortless motorway cruiser. I'm already quite smitten with it. I just thought I'd run it up here and test the old Quattro system, and I'm already regretting it a little bit. It's quite... A dangerous road this and it hasn't been cleared or gritted i don't know what i was thinking anyway it might give you two minutes of entertainment as i slide sideways into a hedge i tell you what I tell you what <laughs> tell you what this is performing superbly how pretty is this up here I'm doing 16 miles an hour though, I didn't want to write it off through a dry stone wall. I'm so impressed with this car, you know, for 2,800 quid. What can you buy for that sort of money? And I mean, it's only done 110,000 miles, it isn't even particularly high. Right, this is getting a little bit hairy now. Oh no, we're soldiering on in the old German Panzer. Well, so far then, so good, I've made it up. Heading back down might be a bit trickier. But I think that's about it, guys. So thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We don't want traffic and travel, do we? I detest traffic and travel. Old High looks. he's got the right idea, hasn't he? So yeah, don't forget to check out Carly. And I think that's about it. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time.